Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. We are on the road, just up the road actually, in Austin. Everyone's looking for a day trip. Get the heck out of Dodge. Gas is expensive, so just drive a little up to Austin. And we're at a very cool restaurant. It's called Parkside. I was here a couple of weeks ago and really wanted to show you this place. If you like oysters, I've never seen a selection like it. Sean Circle is with me right now, the owner, the chef, and... Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How many oysters do you all serve here? We serve anywhere from nine to 16 varieties at any time. We go through about 3,000 uh, oysters a week. And wow. we try to uh, kind of source them from different areas of the country and, and try to have a good representation of size, flavor profiles, kind of all those good things. Um, what's, what's funny is right now in the summer, there's a lot of kind of misnomers about oysters and seasons right. and things. And what we found is, is we just source them appropriately. We talk to our, our oyster farmers uh -huh. and that way we're always serving a, a great product. Well, show us some of the different ones you have because mm -hmm. they're all shapes and sizes and the tastes really do vary when you Quite different. get into uh, it. People talk about cucumber flavors and melon and brininess and all these things. And so it's almost like wine, kind of the way people talk about them. And what we've done here is we have three different varieties. Mm -hmm. We have these fancy sweet caraquettes from New Brunswick in Canada. We have Malpex from Prince Edward Island. And then we have beaver tails from Rhode Island. And if you see the shape, they have a nice tail. It almost looks like a beaver tail. It does. Um, and so what's funny about all the different kinds of oysters is is they're not only, or, or, you know, have people say don't eat them in months of R, I guess is the, right. old, the old saying. Uh, but I always joke about it. If, if you'll go skinny dipping in New Brunswick, then... <laughs> the oysters are fine. They're, they're nice and cold <laughs> and fine. It's going to be so cold. It'll, it'll be okay, fine. Okay, well, I have never shucked an oyster, so... You want to try? I would right, love to try, it. try So we're going to take a, a, a carrot cut. Okay. I'll do one first, and then you can play around. So basically, the goal is mm -hmm. you put it right there, and you just pop it over so slightly. You keep it flat so that it keeps all that juice. And so if you do it just perfect, it looks like you never touch the oyster. You've obviously done that once or twice once before. Once or twice. Okay, so put it on the towel. Okay, fold over. No, no, put it on the table. This way it'll oh, be a little okay. safer. All right. You don't trust me with this knife, I can tell. No. And stick Instead it. of, see how you're holding right here? Yeah. You basically want to hold it flat, so okay. that way you don't have an angle. With the towel on. With the towel, and that protects you. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's <laughs> this okay. is not it's okay. going no, well. Put your hand right here. Okay. All right, all right. So instead of, see how it goes in there? Just barely yeah. put it in, just turn. You gotta hold it down, hold it. Hold, hold this thing down. Yeah. Okay, hey, That's I'm it. getting it. There you go. <laughs> I got it. Well, oh. oh, and I broke it. I'm sorry. Fair enough. So what do you do? Can you fix what it? What do we do? Well, <laughs> this will become a fried oyster. Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. That's all right. Another good thing you guys have here that I really liked when I was here, in addition to the oysters, were all your different ceviches. You call them raw foods right. on the menu, and you do some really interesting things with ceviche. We do. We um, It's not a traditional sense. We don't cook the fish. Right. We actually just dress them. And, and, and they're real simple. They're not exactly sashimi, and they're not exactly ceviches. They're kind of somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. And they're just really bright and fresh. And again, the place, it's called Parkside. It's on 6th Street in Austin. 6th Six and San Jacinto, right in the middle of it all. Right in the middle of it all. But this is a wonderful place, and it's just an hour away from San Antonio. If you like oysters and if you like ceviche, this is a place not to be missed. Sean, thank you so much. No, thank you so much. My pleasure. Parkside is a wonderful restaurant, worth a trip to Austin to check it out. Now this is where I come in San Antonio when I'm in the mood for oysters. I'm at Rossery Paville, a beautiful restaurant, and a great place right now to check out the highlights of the Tour de France. Go Lance! Till next time everyone, enjoy.